Greetings, Cyberdogs. This is Rendog coming at you from just outside the mining outpost in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. In the previous episode, we were building a whole bunch of awesome crap, including this awesome railway network that is going to go from underneath the outpost all the way up here along this road and then up there up onto that bridge and all the way to the Mole Castle. And in this episode, we have a whole bunch of other stuff to build, including... Um, oh, you bastard. You interrupted me while I was telling the cyber dogs about this freaking episode, you bastard. I hope you suffered. Anyway, where was I? <laughs> In this episode, we are going to be building um, the windows of the spires. I've now finished building all the spires. Um, in the outpost, as you can see, I still need to finish the roof of this spire, but we've basically finished all of the spires. This one is slightly out of sync for some reason. And man, it makes me crazy angry. I, I, I just, I can't work out what the, what, where I went wrong, but um, it seems to be slightly out of sync. But anyway, um, we are going to be building the, the, the windows for this. And I thought, now that we've got a whole bunch of diamonds just sitting downstairs, why don't we freaking put those diamonds to good use and make some freaking diamond armor? I mean, seriously, man, it, it is almost, it's basically time for me to kill an enderman, right? I need to kill an enderman so that I can collect his freaking eyeballs. Because apparently I need his freaking eyeballs to do something sweet. Um, so that is that is what we're going to do today, man. Let's find our diamonds. 16 shiny diamonds. Sweet. Okay. So what we need to do, we've got the diamond shoes. we got the blue suede shoes. And now what we need is a blue suede helmet. Oh, yeah. Ooh, damn, that uses a lot of freaking diamonds, man. Let me tell you. That is painful. Man, we're going to use all of our diamonds to make armor. We better not freaking die now, man. All right, diamond helmet in the freaking bag. Bam. And now we need to make our freaking breastplate. And that is all our freaking diamonds gone. Damn, man. That, that, that is cray cray. But I think I'm going to save these diamonds, the remaining diamonds, because um, I want to make an enchanting table. This is one of the biggest requests that I've got from you guys in the comment section is that you want to see a freaking enta enchanting table. And guys, I'm, I'm going to give you an enchanting table. Oh, f oh, God, freaking damn it. I don't have enough for legs. Oh, man. So now I'm running around with freaking crappy legs, but amazing diamond armor. Oh, that sucks balls, man. <laughs> Check at me, though. I am looking sweet. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, now I've got diamond armor. So... I'm pretty sure that I can take on an Enderman now um, with my diamond sword and diamond armor. So if I see an Enderman, I'm going to take his ass down to Chinatown. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Right, <laughs> let's let's make some glass pa uh, panes. Um, boom! Okay, maybe there, was, that was, maybe there was too many glass panes, but, you know. Maybe not. You can never have too many glass panes. And, and, and also... Um, when I place them wrong, I have to break them, so. Um, man, this elevator, even though it is f really freaking sweet, <coughs> um, <laughs> it's really slow. Um, so I'm gonna try, f I wanna try and find a way to make the, to speed up the elevator if it's at all possible. Um, right, so, I just wanna show you guys how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go all the way to the top of this wall over here and, um, Get some torches up in that in that beeswax right over there, and this is how we're gonna do it, man. I've been thinking about this all night, right? How the freak do we optimally make these freaking windows like that, and then we get rid of this one? Check out my hook while the DJ revolves it. As in, what I was trying to say there is. We had a problem, and now we solved it, and then Vanilla Ice came into my head, and... <sighs> Guys, let me tell you, man, a whole bunch of freaking what we call chavs in, this, in, in England kept me awake last night making a whole bunch of noise. And I'm freaking grumpy. I am freaking grumpy, man. Those bastards kept me awake all night, and man, um, I woke up this morning. It's now 6.30 in the morning. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to relieve some of my freaking anger and I'm going to play some Minecraft with my awesome cyber dogs. And that is exactly what I'm doing. Um, and man, 
I'm, I'm already feeling better. So that looks pretty sweet, right? Um, just like that. No, the torches need to be one down. Now they're perfectly symmetrical. One, two. Yep, they're perfectly symmetrical. So that is what I'm talking about. That, that's exactly what I want all of these walls to look like. Oh, hello there. You're not supposed to be wooed. Alright guys, so I'm going to apply this method to the rest of um, the rest of the, the spires. Well, hang on. Hang on while you can. Oh man guys, so at the time of this recording um, whoa, just just completely blanked what I was going to say. Hang on, it'll come back to me. It, I, I, w I wanted to talk about a new game that's coming out, but um, I seem to have blanked. Oh! Oh, bollocks! Bollocks to my memory! There we go. All right, sweet guys. So this is looking good, man. This is this is exactly how I sort of envisioned the spires to look like. I didn't want to want them to look like really, um, you know, like a cast. I didn't want it to be t look like too much of a fortress. I wanted to have a sort of uh, romantic type feel to it. So I think that these these long elongated mirror uh, windows do add to uh, the romantic feel. No. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. You gotta, you gotta make a whole bunch of extra window panes, because you are gonna waste them when you use window panes. I mean, what I need to do is get an enchanting table, <coughs> so that I can um, get a silk touch uh, pickaxe, and then I can collect these delicate things without breaking them. Which is the eventual goal. And boom. But we want to come down one more. There we go, man. So that is looking awesome, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go, man. Oh, sweet, guys. So I'm going to apply this method to the, the remaining spires. And then um, we will see you back here once, they, once they're all ready. And then um, we will be moving on to our next task of the day. And that is... Um, trying to figure out exactly how we are going to build this bridge. What What is the exact formula going to be for the bridge? What is it going to look like? So guys, by the power of the internet, I'll be back in one second. All right, guys, we are back and we have finished building the sweet ass windows in the spires of the outpost. And as you can see, they are looking freaking awesome, man. I just got to get rid of this the snow that's, that's built up... Um, inside the outpost while there's been while the sky has been open to the elements and as you can see the windows are looking awesome guys check it out oh man the outpost is looking so sweet now um man the next task for the outpost is going to be to build the rooms on top of the spires but you know that is a task for another day i think um that's probably going to take quite a while um to do so we're going to leave that task for another day i think and we're just going to go put some of this jazz down and um man i'm i'm kind of like itching now to to try and kill an enderman because i have got the goods man i have got the freaking goods i have got the the tools required to rip an end rip in an, an enderman a, a new one <laughs> man what a sentence but yeah i i'm actually very keen to try and kick the ass of an enderman um I don't know if it's going to be possible, but it is definitely worth a, a, a try, I think. Um, I might as well give it a go, right? Um, now, the question is if I'm going to find any Enderman. Um, that is another question. But I think the time is about right for Enderman to come out of wherever the hell they live. In the Ender. In the land of Ender. And um, I've got a bow. I've got... Man, I've got everything I need to take out a freaking Enderman, so... Let's let's see if we can do it, man. Let's go Enderman hunting. Um, we're also going to have a, a quick look at our bridge. And, man, I need some more torches. Before we do anything, we need a few more torches. Um, there, there we go. 
there's a whole bunch of torches. But I think we actually need a, a few more torches than that. Um, now, we've been getting through torches like nobody's business. Um, just getting, you know, getting in the habit of making as many torches as possible. It is not a bad habit to be in, let me tell you. Because, man, you need torches everywhere. All right. <clears throat> what I do need to work on also is the entrance into the outpost. I haven't quite made an, entr an, an entrance yet. Um, and I think I want to make it out of steel doors or something cool like that. Um, but the entrance is supposed to be over here. So let's just make sure nothing else gets in there while we go on this. Probably, probably a crazy mission. Now, we are hunting for a freaking Enderman. Yo, Enderman! What the Kraken, yo? That's not an Enderman. I'm not going to waste my arrows on that noob. Man, those spiders are humping that tree. <laughs> okay, well, oh man, look how sweet it's looking now, guys. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to actually have a look at the outpost from out here. Check it out. It is looking sweet. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Oh man. Yep, that's beautiful, man. That's exactly what I wanted um, the outpost to look like. So I am very, very happy with that. Uh, man, that guy is eager to kick my ass. Whoa. 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 Those two were looking at each other like, You got a problem with me? You got a problem with me being in a spider, you bastard? <laughs> okay, guys. So, what I wanted to do is... Um, what I wanted to do is try and figure out exactly how I'm going to make the um, the outposts or, or the bridge, should I say. There is an Enderman. Oh my God. All right, guys. This is it, man. There's two Endermen. Um, well, I could... Okay, there's two Endermen. Holy crap. All right, so I'm going to I'm gonna try to kill one with Welder, right? And then I'm going to take out the other one with my sword. Um, let's see if this is going to be even possible, man. Those Endermen. Whew. Okay, guys. This is the first freaking time that I've ever battled an Enderman. Without using water, obviously. Um, okay. We've got diamond armor, though. And we're, we're pretty close to the outpost. In case we die, we can get back pretty easily. Um, okay. Whew. All right, guys, let's do this, man. These things are terrifying. They also make a freaking terrifying noise. Let's just make sure there are no creepers behind us. All right, it is on. It is on. Die, you bastard! What the freak? Woo! Damn. <laughs> um, all right. Um, okay, so it looks like... Do I have to engage in battle? All right, let's do it, you bastard. Die, you bastard! Holy crap, people. This is... Freaking terrifying. He keeps teleporting away. Um, where did he go? Where did he freaking go? Oh my lord, this is terrifying. Alright, so obviously he didn't want to battle, so... Uh, the next enemy is going to have to do... Come at me, you bastard! Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, okay, it is on, it is on. It is on, the battle is on! Come on, come at me, bro, come on, come on! Holy crap, man, he's called, it, he's called upon his allies! Oh, Lord, victory is mine! Oh, man, that was crazy. And we're going to take out this one, too. Die, you bastard. Come on. Come on. You got nowhere to go, man. Woo. I'm on an Enderman killing freaking spree. Damn, man. I got... What did I get? I got two Ender Pearls, man. That is sweet. Oh. Hey. What are you doing outside the freak... Yeah, burn, you bastard. Burn, you bastard. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to get into the outpost, man. This is what you get. Do you like it? Do you like the freaking pain, you bastard? 
Um, I might be projecting some of my anger uh, toward the chavs that woke me up this morning, by the way. <laughs> Alright. That was awesome, guys. We killed our first freaking enemy, man. That is, uh, that is awesome. I'm so, so happy with that. That is sweet. Um, now, back to, the, back to the task at hand. Um, <laughs> what, what I'm trying to achieve here, right, is um, I'm trying to figure out a way to, um, to build my bridge. And what I thought I would do is I would build the, the bridge along a raised railway network, right? So it's going gonna, it's gonna to run along um, a raised railway platform. Um, and the platform is going to be made out of wood, but it's going to be on top of um, stone, right? And instead of just building the stone just on, on top of the, the ice, which obviously doesn't make any sense, I want to build it from the seabed up, uh, upwards, right? So just, so just for, I guess, just to make it a little bit more realistic, I guess, um, you know, I don't really like uh, I don't really like it when people just build blocks on top of like ice, for example, um, and it doesn't you know it just doesn't really make sense. I mean, for me, I, the, the structures that I try and make in Minecraft, I try and I try and make them so to look like okay, maybe that could actually exist in real life, you know. Um, so that's looking really awesome actually. And what's going to happen is we're going to have wooden beams across hi across these things. So let's actually do it. Let me just show you what 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 I mean. Um, so there's the one wooden beam and there's the other wooden beam right and then we're going to have steps that will run um, th th the steps are going to like run up here right so no that's too much I don't know if we can actually cross um, uh, a, a block worth of space with rails, but if we can, that'll be amazing. Um, and so the railway, actually, this isn't going to work because we're not going to be able to put steps there. We're going to have to put steps under here. But anyway, um, the railway is going to come like this, right? So it's going to come out of the ground and up here onto these platforms. And um, then it's going to turn around the corner here. So I think that sounds like a pretty good plan. Um, for the railway network and man it is going to be sweet guys but don't worry I'm not going to make you guys watch me build all of these things because <laughs> it's going to take it's going to take forever um, but I just wanted to show you how um, I plan to build the railway network and um, hopefully it's going to you know hopefully it's going to look really sweet um, and hopefully all the time it's going to take to build these platforms is going to be worth it I think it's going to be worth it man um, it's going to be sweet so there we go, man, and we're just going to carry on doing that all the way, all the way around to that bridge, and then then we're going to construct that bridge into using a similar style. Um, but what I do want to do, what's really annoying me, is is this: I do want to change all of these blocks into uh, into stone because it's just it just looks ter terra bad, you know. OCD is kicking in, man. Ah, oh, man. Okay, there we go. So I want, you know, I want, I want these to be completely um, stone walls, basically. Just so that it looks so sweet. There we go. It's starting to look sweet, man. I'm, I'm so happy with um, how the railway system is turning out, guys. Um, but I'd love to know what you guys think about the railway system also. What do you guys think, man? Do you think this is the, the right way to build it? Do you think that this is going to have enough sweetness factor for you guys? Um, I think that it's got enough sweetness factor, man. It's going to be sweet. Freaking welder! Man, I can't believe we killed an enderman so happy that was that was intense but diamond armor man diamond armor is cray cray um if if i lose this diamond armor i'm gonna be so so mad with myself man i'm gonna be like you mad bro and i'm gonna be like dude i'm i'd be so freaking mad with you right now 
That's seriously rage quit lifetime. Temporary flood of the freaking outpost. Alright guys. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you have, please show me your love by giving me a like in the in the like section below. <laughs> and of course, if you have anything to tell me guys, please do not hesitate to, to freaking get type in, in the comments section below. And guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, come on man, what you be doing? What you be doing, man? You gonna make the Randog cry. <laughs> That's how a Randog cries, by the way. Um, but yes, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe because we are doing our best to get these Minecraft video videos out at least six out of seven days a week. And, um, you know, with, I'm trying to make sure that every single day you guys have got something to watch, something sweet to watch before you go to work, before you go to school, you know, just something to, to brighten your day before the, the tediousness of life begins. Um, <laughs> man, that sounds, that sounds so depressing. But uh, you guys know what I'm saying, right? And um, yeah, just a big thank you to everybody who's been commenting in the previous videos and, and for all the amazing emails and stuff you guys have been sending me. Guys, it's been, it's been awesome. It's been an awesome ride, man. And hopefully it's, it's going to continue. And... Um, yeah, we are now done with the tunnel. That's what I'm talking about, right? So now this is looking sweet. This is exactly what I wanted it to look like. And um, this is looking awesome. So this is going to ramp up onto here. And then the, the train is, go is going to head all the way back to the mole castle. Guys, it has been real. This has been Randog playing Minecraft Survival. And we will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.